I have always thought to myself, what if you could become the richest player in DayZ without selling weapons from doing PvP and even growing a weed farm? Although growing was something that we took highly interest in, so we did just that. But not with weed, but with pumpkins. By growing and selling pumpkins, we became insanely rich from doing the one thing that no one thought to do. Putting everyone to shame of how much money they had on their bank account. And that led us to become the richest players in their server. But in order for you guys to fully understand this story, we have to start at the very, very beginning. Dude, the drip, man. So everyone spawns with this outfit then. Let's go, man. What's so. good? All right, where, where to, my friend? Where are we going? This way. I was joined by Satuna, and we both had one goal in mind. And that was to become the richest players in DayZ. And we both went over to this location that we had in mind. Can we see this? <laughs> what? These cones? Yeah, this is not usually here, is it? Hey, what is this? Some Someone down here. This whole area is freaking huge. <laughs> Can we build like... <laughs> <laughs> And I thought I was a role player here, man. Dude, this is pretty good. Just fill it up all my days. <laughs> Dude, that's gonna be sick. It's going to be kind of nice. Now this was perfect. A whole warehouse for us to build our operation. Now we needed some building materials to ensure that we could secure this whole warehouse. So we went over to the trader to see what the prices were. Damn, there's a bunch of trees here and stuff. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, uh, BP crafting bird is 50k. We need all that, man. Before we, we buy anything, let's look at the... Um, greenhouse. Greenhouse. Is it here? I don't think so, bro. The real question is, can we sell this? <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> Pay respect, bro. Look at the dude to the right. I know, he's just looking at me like, what do, what do I do? Do I join in or something? Black Lives Matter, right? Oh my, this freaking guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Black I was not Lives. expecting that to come out of his <laughs> mouth, bro. <laughs> While we were at the trader, we'd figured out what the greenhouses that we were looking for were. He's messaging me back. Oh, nice. Oh, they're in the drug trader. 10K each. Drug trader. Oh, <laughs> You must be out of your mind. Here, let me just put a, a marker real quick for you. Look at that. That's yeah, I see it, bro. It's 9.4K. <laughs> oh, my days. And just by going there, dude, we could we could die, man. Well, there's no use in complaining if we're going to get stuff done. So our goal was to run all the way across the entire map. All right, it's a turn 9.4K. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> While I had just left the safe zone, we saw a guy running in front of us in the field. There's a guy right right behind us, uh, to our right, like right there. Marked it, pinged it. He's right in front of us, bro. Right in front of you. Can we take him out? We could try. Oh. He's hit like three times. Yeah, I've seen the blood. Again! Dude, what? Okay, he's Why down, he's down. down. <laughs> no chance, Dude, we bro. We gotta get out of here quick, man. Not much loot for us, but we weren't interested in that just yet. We had to get rid of him, mainly because he was in our way. It looks like an air tank or something. What is that backpack? Then almost half an hour later, we were near the drug trader. But something else caught our attention on our way up there. Your last, let me tell you, last time I was up here was when I was playing- Wait, wait. There's smoke to the left. There's a heli crash site. Oh, really? Yeah, right over here. Oh, I see it, I see it. Oh, there's, there's a, a ghillie, guy. there's a ghillie yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, he's coming. He's coming towards us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
pushing up. Okay, I'm coming with you. It's down. <laughs> You're freaking crazy, bro. All my days. Good stuff. Good oh my stuff. god, bro. Is that? Yes, good is. Oh my. Oh. Do you see no way. Can get right now, my boy. Okay. Yeah, man. This bag is wrong. Oh my boy. god. What? He was definitely trying to get a base yeah. up, bro. I think so too, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna grab his bag. Luckily, this guy did not have a friend. But what he had on him was everything we needed to build up a base. Well, almost I would say. I made sure that we stashed the gear before we went into the trader. With the startup money that we now had, we were able to buy 10 greenhouses. Oh, wait, yeah? Drugs. I found it, found it, found it. Okay, how, how, many, how much you got? Uh, five. Five? One, mm. two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay, so that's 10, dude. That is That is really good. And after we had successfully done that, we made our way all the way down to the trader to buy the remaining supplies we needed. Dude, I got a nice map. Dude, look at this, man. Where you at? Check me out, man. Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, we were careful with running around with full bags. And we had no issues when running back to base. Now that we had all the supplies, our first objective was to secure our back room first. Jeez. Oh, yes. Let's do this, man. The trader it is. We had successfully secured the back area of our base, but we certainly weren't done just yet. We just didn't have enough supplies and we were running short. And therefore, we needed to head over to the trader to grab a few more items. Damn. Sharpening stone. That's hella sharpening stone there. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right. About one is not as... Yeah, it's not that big though. I can actually carry this. And now with the remaining base materials that we had just purchased, we can then lock this warehouse up fully with no worrying of people peeking through. base was now secured with all the gates and doors to protect us which we even upgraded as well and the final step was to place all the greenhouses before we head out we're gonna be the the most successful vegetable <laughs> farmers out there my boy all right bro i'm gonna log out here all right bro yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna get off as well uh yeah. i'll holla at you tomorrow then bro So here we are, day two. While I was gone, Satuna went on a little adventure, to which he was pretty excited to show me. While you was gone, I was out packing kids up, making play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how about you hit your inventory key real quick? Scroll down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh damn. That entire storage, bro. I got a Che, a VSSK. Oh, That's a CDX goodness. that I had. I got two chays while I was out. I'm using one. Dude, boy. you've been packing kids up, my guy. You're not lying. All right, come, come over here real quick. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I thought that was Dude, it. Hit that inventory oh, cable, boy. Oh, my days. You got some C4, some Pokemon cards. Is there any more? Yeah, just oh, a dude, couple You've been guys. organizing, my guy. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. With a great start on our first day, day two was even better. First, we had to go back up to the drug trader once more to get the last few greenhouses to fill up the empty spots in our warehouse. Along the way, we encountered some people which we simply took care of. Oh, after this journey, man, I think I'm gonna take a look. Oh, there's a guy right there in front of us. He's dead. He's got an M16. A snow? What is that? Uh, mid gear. <laughs> an 
after another long run, we made it safely back to base, in which we wasted no time. We then filled up the greenhouses and started filling up the jerry cans that we had bought from the trader so we would have plenty of water for the seeds. Now the interesting part of growing a vegetable farm is that you only need to buy one pack of seeds because once you finally grow one batch you can slice one of them and get a lot more seeds from that. This meant that we would never have to worry about buying more seeds. We could always sacrifice a few pumpkins to grow the rest in all of the greenhouses. Bro, never in my life would <laughs> never in my life would I think I'd be having this many pumpkins in my damn if somebody kills us right now and checks our inventory. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my days, bro. Okay, this this is what I got over here. Yes. Sheesh. <laughs> Alright, let's make this look okay, so this is like it's not even half, bro. But that's fine, because we'll get the vehicle, we'll get the vehicle. Now this of course got us hyped up a lot. And even though we couldn't bring all the pumpkins on our first run, we could only take roughly half with us. And we were able to count how much our profit would be even before going over to the trader. So just on me, I'm going to have 30,400. Oh my days, really? Mm-hmm. That's not even the entire... You, what? Bro! So it's, it's gonna like, be like a hundred thousand a run over a hundred thousand a run. Oh my god! <laughs> dude, what the? Wait, 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 dude! I gotta, I gotta count the stuff I have here, man. 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Okay, time, times that four hundred by fifty-one. Okay, so th that's twenty thousand four hundred that you have plus the thirty thousand four hundred that I have. It's gonna okay. be fifty thousand eight hundred. Okay, okay, nice. Uh, that's not even half of it, bro. We're gonna make millions, bro. I'm telling you right now, man. We're, we're gonna freaking make millions of freaking vegetables. Dude, this puts Maybe. everyone to shame, bro. <laughs> Literally gonna be the richest people on this server just from some damn pumpkin. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. We ended up selling a little over 50,000. It was quite a bit. Now, it was also important for us to travel faster back and forth to sell our pumpkins. But in order for us to do that, we would need some transport. And of course, we got some more base materials as well as other things. We bought one of the cheapest cars in the game and went straight back to base to fill up the car with the remaining pumpkins we had. Then after that, we planted even more seeds. But during this time, just as we were about to drive back to the trader, unexpected visits had arrived. Oh, there, 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 right there, right there, in front of you. Sorry, bro, I'm really shaky right now because I'm cold in my house. It's all good, it's I all found good. a stash, I found a stash. <laughs> he had some Ooh. stuff in there. Like Pokemon cards and... I'm 200, bro. Yeah, that dude was juice, bro. He was definitely juice. I'm unkind of, but I killed him. Nice, I killed nice, him. nice. Or he might be unkind. Another guy? Kill the guy? Nice, bro. Good shit, good shit. Nice, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Was that the guy? No, no, no. Yeah, dude. He's unkind. He's dead. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I'll go clear glass, okay? Yep. Those guns off their bodies. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I got everything I need basically to head out. These are gonna be freaking mad. We need to like, we have a lot of cement and all that, bro. We just gotta, gotta build. These guys certainly wasn't happy. Our car was left inside the other building with all of the pumpkins. If these guys were coming back, they would surely hit us hard at this time. So Satuna and I made sure that we grabbed all the tools and materials that we needed to build ourselves a tier three garage gate. And therefore, no one would thought to raid it. After we had secured our garage, we even added more walls and doors just in case these guys really were pissed of us killing them. And you never know when it gets to that point for people to raid you. 
And you can make this cement now. Cement. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. <laughs> You're an idiot, bro. Dude, I'm crying, man. You did not just freaking say that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you got me crying. <laughs> Dude, what's literally. Staring at me, can you make semen? <laughs> okay. Dude, I was good, oh. but all oh, my days. Since it was getting very late for us, we needed to harvest the rest of the pumpkins so that they wouldn't go rotten. And then we also finished the remaining base structures and even parked our vehicle at a gas station. And this was pretty cool since the server only had one way to secure your vehicle and that is by parking them so no one can steal them. Once we had parked our vehicle, we went over back to base and locked off for the night. I'm praying that we do not get raided, bro. I'm not even gonna cap. Dude, you made it pretty nice up here, man. I ain't gonna lie. Dude, it is almost 7 a.m., man. Oh, my days. Worth it, though. 100% worth it, bro. Thankfully, we did not get raided. But I think you guys got a pretty good understanding of how me and Satuna work. Once we both locked in, we planted our seeds right away. And that was because today we were going to try to make as much money as possible. And with the help of the vehicle that we bought, we were able to take a lot more with us to the trader. Now I'll walk you through what happened these next few hours. By going back and forth from our base to the trader, we made quite a few hundred thousand rubles. And that does say a lot compared to growing weed, I must say. Which in our case, we hadn't even seen one pack in the entire time we were on this server. I guess at this point, if Satuna and I would have done this 20 times a day, it wouldn't have been as fun. I mean, don't get me wrong, money is good to have, yes, but doing it that many times could burn us out quickly. And we all know DayZ. For some, it can happen faster than others. So our profit would be over 100,000 rubles each run. And once we got back to our base on our final pumpkin run, we went around the map a little bit just to see what we could find. And we were looking for some bases, to which most of them that we came across were either raided or freshly built. This guy that we came across that we killed didn't even have a lot on him, nor anything in his base as well. So I thought was that if there was any big bases, then surely it would have been up north. And with the C4 that we had, we wanted to save them for our last day. But now, our journey on day three has just about come to an end. Today was a freaking good day, man. Tomorrow, if everything goes smoothly, man, it's the last day. Y'all, hey, wrap this bitch up. <laughs> Go ahead and deliver it with Amazon. Call it a day. <laughs> Alright, my boy. I'll holla at you. Uh, we report him, he's toxic. Nice, dude. What did he say? Pocket watch. Some more this guy said. He, he said nothing. He tried nothing, but... Okay. Like, I'm gonna take big we weapons to sell the black market then, right? Now I know what you're thinking. We got two extra people with us. What's going on here? Well, let me explain. We had made a bunch of profit from the pumpkins, so Satuna invited some of his friends to join us on this final day on this server. If you guys remembered, not only did we have a few C4s lying around, but also a bunch of valuables. Hi boys, it's time. Time to finally sell. I'm gonna put a marker at Black Market. Look. 9.5 kilometers, bro. Somebody's behind Someone? shooting. There's no way he got away that fast, bro. That was those shots for you. Man, seen four gillies pushing him and did the dash. <laughs> they don't chase, Check the bushes bro. around. Check the bushes around. Hiding. He's hiding now. He has to. Oh, he, he did. Bro. Ain't no I way you just no hit that shot, him. bro. I didn't even see him. I just shot because I got scared. <laughs> The final day we had two goals to do a raid and to sell everything at the black market and we decided for our first goal to head all the way up northwest to the black market and sell literally all the valuables we have collected since we started on the server 
Oh my god. What? You are not going to believe how much these Pokemon cards sell for, man. You know, like... One Pokemon card, huh? Let's see. But for that specific one, bro. Bro! <laughs> Are you freaking crazy? Here, take it. I'll, I'll drop it. How much? 80,000 for that? Just one? Bro, we're about oh. to be freaking rich like crazy. We might come out with a mil. Maybe not, but definitely a few hundred thousand, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. I have... Well, minus the 50k, I have I've made two, uh, 150k from the guns. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh my There's god. Where is he? Ali, come here, and, man. Come here. MMG, oh, come here. Armor. Dude, let me see that, bro. Stop playing around, man. Get your ass in here, buddy. Let me see that bag, oh, man. Oh, no. What? Oh, okay. Never mind. I can drop. Here. Let me see that full. Oh, wait. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> bro, that's nearly 700,000. I swear to God, oh, bro. Oh my days, bro. Dude, that is crazy, man. That is freaking crazy. I'm going to check this other black market real quick to see if I can sell some of these other guns. Oh, wait, I can sell the links here, though. I have yeah, to have it. There's a guy on me. I'm dead. I'm dead. Everybody He's go to him. Everybody go to him. Everybody go to him. I need to finish guy on that. I see another one. He's behind us. There's another on me. I'm on I'm on come. I'm on come. Where? On me. One. one on me. Directly on you. Yeah, I'm dead. I killed one. I killed one. I killed one. Blank a second. Three point seven out, bro. I'm coming back. Comes, comes. Ali, you're alive, right? Yeah, got all your money. Yeah, yeah, there's one guy pushing towards you. I'm just trying to get an angle from deep. Not deep, but like. Yeah. Are you? I hit him. I hit him good. that happened <laughs> we lost nearly 1 million rubles on that one run we went back there and lost every single time and to be honest most people in this situation would quit and the reason why i showed you guys this trip up there is so that you can learn from our mistakes black market is no joke you usually go there sell everything quickly and then get the hell out of there so for us we took our time a little bit and always and i mean always be together with a squad and plan accordingly but you know what, it's all good. We had already made enough money to call ourselves rich on this server. So this leaves us with our final goal, and that is to do some raids with the C4s that we had. Bro, what's going on with all these bases are being raided, man? Wait, what about this one? Oh. Hold on. There is a door in this one. Just wanna do this one? I mean, we can, yeah. Are you ready? I'm gonna arm it. Yeah, go for it. Three, two, one, go. Hey. And boom, win. Nam. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> go. Got a lot of Scar 8 weapons here. Scar L. This is a helmet here for you. Remington ACR. I'm gonna I'm take all these guns. Yes. Dude, there's more here. Did you guys see this? Yes. What do you think with this one? I see a lot of just wood. Maybe let's just take a chance. Let's go. Oh. 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 Is there anything good? Oh, 
No way. Isn't that one? And that, my friends, wraps up this adventure. Honestly, it was quite a blast recording with Satuna. I highly recommend that you guys go and check him out. His links will be in the description below. We both are very excited to go on some crazy adventures again soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And by the time this video goes up, I'll be very close to 20,000 subscribers. And I cannot tell you guys how thankful I really am. Your support has really been amazing and I cannot wait for the future. Before I leave, you guys know the drill. If you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like as it helps a lot. As well as hit that subscribe button and even turn on notification so you never miss out on any videos. And with that being said, I will see you all on my next video.